Hi everyone, um, this is Vlogtober number 7. Um, I wasn't sure what to do a video about today but um, I decided to do it on today's topic because um, once again I went into town and um, bumped into a few people that I know and who haven't seen me for a while and um, they're all asking me the same question why do you cut your hair? so I just thought I'd just put it out there and tell everybody why I cut my hair okay so if you've been following my videos or if you know me in real life or you see me on Facebook you'll know that I had um, a fairly long relax long in the back and you know something to be proud of a mane to be proud of but um you know and I've been relaxing since I was in my early 20s so for about 20 plus years I've been relaxing my hair and um, every so often about every three or four months I would get a really bad headache and it could be on either side but it would be a really bad headache and it would be around my head and it wasn't a migraine because I suffer with migraines and I know what a migraine but this would be like pressure on my head and in my eye and um, it was one of those headaches that you think oh it will go away it will eventually go away and it would um, and so I would have these headaches off and on anyway a few years ago, some of you might remember in my pregnancy vlogs, I was talking about um, doing the big chop, cutting my hair off anyway, or going natural anyway. And I didn't do it because I didn't know what to expect cutting my hair off. I've never had my hair naturally this short before. I've had it this short in a relax, but never this short naturally. Um, so I didn't know what to expect. So while um, I planned to go natural, I didn't know what to do with it while I was pregnant. So while I was pregnant I carried on relaxing my hair. So um, in April of this year I relaxed my hair. My sister did a nice relax for me and I got a headache. Now I didn't associate the headache with the relax at all. I never did. Um, it was just these headaches that I got periodically. And then I noticed in the middle of my scalp the, the, the pressure was all from around my head here all the way down like on that side of my face and um, in the middle of my scalp I had a tiny tiny pinhead scab and I just couldn't get this you know you get scalp burns from the relax and you kind of just scrape it off and wash your hair but this pinhead I just couldn't it was deep it was like I just couldn't get the scalp off and one day I was playing with it in the mirror playing with the scab, playing with the scab and I decided to just really just pick at it so I just gave it a good tug and all this stuff started oozing from that tiny tiny pinhead scab which was coming out but as I realised after a while that as it was oozing out the headache was kind of clearing and I realised I got an infection now everyone says to me oh didn't you go to the doctors? now I'm not I'm not one for running to the doctors for everything. I'm not really up with conventional medicine and I prefer to find a way to treat things myself if I can. Now I'm not saying to anyone not to go to the doctors. I'm just saying that's the way I am. And so, you know, I had lots of garlic drinks and um, ginger teas and stuff like that to get rid of any infection that could have been lurking in my body. And no, I didn't go to the doctor if I said, didn't say that before. But I decided there and then that that was the end of relaxing for me. I wasn't going to relax my hair again. So I was transitioning, as it were, and um, watching all these transitioning videos. And, you know, and I just couldn't handle it. It's like my, my hair, as you can see, is really dense, really, really thick, um, which is good. It's not, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's really thick. So while I had this lovely long relax on the end that was easy to come through I was growing out like one or two inches of of natural hair that I couldn't get to I couldn't comb it through it was just tangly it was tough it was just horrible so 
I decided to go for the big chop. Cut my hair off. My sister cut my hair and um, and I hated it. I hated every single second. I thought, oh, what have I done? And, um, you know, I tried on some wigs. I hated the wigs. Couldn't find a wig to fit me. And so I decided to um, go to the barbers and get the barber to give my hair a good cut. So he did. And he cut my hair the first time like one from the back straight through to the front and I was like whoa it's too short oh no and um as he was I says well you've got to finish it now because it's all the way to the front that length so I says you've got to finish it now so he did and uh, when he finished I was like wow you've got it so short you've got it so short but I love it <laughs> I says I really like it I really did I really liked it and um at the moment, I'm just trying to find products to help it stay moisturised because it's extremely dry. I'm just thinking, I didn't realise my natural hair was so thirsty, but it is just dry, 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 dry. But that's the reason I decided to go for the big chop. One, because I decided not to relax anymore. Two, because I couldn't handle the transitioning. And three, because when my sister cut it, I didn't like it. So I just went and had it short back and sides and shaped up. Well, it didn't shape the front. I asked him not shape the front, but he did the back. Even though I didn't want the back done either. And um, it's growing. When he first did it, I couldn't twist it. There was nothing to twist. Um, but there is a little bit to twist now. So... Yeah, it's got some uh, growth, a little bit of growth on it, and it's been a few weeks, so that's why. And I still, I like it short. I do actually like it short, and I am trying to decide whether or not to keep growing it or go back and get it trimmed a little bit again, um, because I do actually like it like this, and I hope all my viewers like it too. So, and my husband likes it, which is <laughs> the other main thing. He's, yeah, he's really impressed. And I do um, wraps and scarves and things. And, um, you know, when I'm going out somewhere really special or to church, I do try and wrap my hair. Um, but, yeah, this is it. So I hope you like it too, like I said. And um, if you don't, then sorry. But please, thumbs up um, if you like it subscribe please and stay tuned for um i don't know if i'll be doing all the length check stuff and everything but stay tuned to just watch my hair grow via vlogs on youtube okay take care god bless bye oh um i didn't mention that when i was gonna cut it before i was gonna before i cut it off my dad said to me that if he cuts it off, if I cut my hair off, he will never speak to me. He'll stop speaking to me and never speak to me again. When I did cut it off, he stopped speaking to me, which is really sad. For about five seconds. But now, my dad loves me too much to not speak to me. And so, yeah.